Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghun Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will be installing Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS, which is long term support on VirtualBox in Windows 11. All right. So we need a couple of prerequisite to install Ubuntu uh, on Windows 11 using VirtualBox. The prerequisite might be uh, your VirtualBox, of course, and you need to have enough um, CPU and uh, RAM on your laptop or your or on your uh, windows 11 wherever it is installed okay whether it is on your laptop or desktop so uh yeah let's go to this virtual box and i have already installed and uh, what i what you have to do is to go to this site and get this virtual box downloaded for windows and uh, in couple of clicks you will see this virtual box oracle virtual box gets installed okay so once it is installed once it is installed you have to go to uh, <clears throat> on this site and get the ubuntu 22.04.3 lts iso okay so i'll go and uh, get this downloaded okay i have already uh, downloaded this so I'll, I'll show you you can click here and you can choose respective uh, you know iso click here and you will get so minimum pre uh, prerequisite and si system requirement is to have you know two uh, gigahertz a dual core processor or, or better 4 gb system memory and 25 gb of free hard disk space okay internet accessible is helpful either the dvd drive or the usb port for the installer media so these are the prerequisite system requirement to install this version of ubuntu okay so okay <coughs> so once this is downloaded once this is downloaded i have uh, let me show you where i have kept it i have kept it in ubuntu iso so you can see this is that iso desktop amd 64 and uh, this is iso file okay disk image okay so now what you have to do you have to open oracle vm virtual box manager and click on new and you have to give the ubuntu version okay so this is going to be ubuntu 22043 okay let me copy the name of this and see virtual box is intelligent enough to you know uh, recognize the type and the version of ubuntu okay as in when you enter this ubuntu a uh, name it uh, recognize as uh, linux is uh, its type basically the type is linux and the ubuntu version is going to be 64 now you have to understand like uh, what is this folder and what is on this iso image iso image we have to you know uh, browse to that location and the folder is like where your virtual machine is going to be created so it is going to be created inside c a drive users admin and virtual box vms okay now time to locate to this image okay so i am going to just go to that uh, location where the iso file is uh, installed um, iso uh, file is copied basically yeah and select it and go to click on next you can choose your username and password so for now for 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 my installation for my machine i'm going to choose as the tadda and uh, let me choose my password okay so i've chosen the password and it is the host name is going to be this let me change this host name as well to this okay and the domain name is this okay so i'll click on next and then based on the system requirement i am going to choose so this is 4mb and let me select this is 2gb basically and let me choose 4gb and the processor let me choose 2 from this okay so i'll click on next and the this is the hard disk so by default it is uh, 25 i'm going to uh, reserve 50 gb for this virtual machine 
okay and i'll click on next and uh, this is your system i mean like uh, summary whatever option you have chosen so far okay two processor and base memory is this four gigs approximately and the disk size is 50 gb okay so with that i'm going to you know click on finish and it is going to take some time to create the virtual machine ubuntu 22.043 based on that iso okay so once uh, you get this screen you can click on show and uh, it will maximize and show you uh, with its progress and it will start uh, verifying the installation configuration so uh, so all the device uh, driver everything will be installed from that iso So as of now installation is going on and it will take a couple of more minutes. And meanwhile you can check your system info, MS info 32 just type this command and check like how many how much um, memory and uh, physical memory and the virtual memory you have in your system so for me uh, i have available total virtual machine is this and total physical memory is 16 gb and total physical memory is 15 available so which i have given i have given uh, 4 gb approximately to this new virtual machine which i am going to you know create okay so just ensure that you have enough uh, ram and the uh, cpu of course okay to allocate and this hyper v and everything should be enabled okay yeah so we'll see yeah it is going on So you can see uh, Ubuntu has been installed. Everything has got unpacked from the ISO and it has installed the Ubuntu operating system on Windows 11 using VirtualBox, of course. So it is booting. So it will take its own time to boot. And depending on basically the uh, RAM and uh, CPU you have allocated to that uh, virtual machine, right? So now see it has It is asking for the password now So provide your password which you have given For this user so I have entered my password and uh, see we have installed Ubuntu on Windows 11 using VirtualBox, latest VirtualBox, okay, and the latest Ubuntu image 22043. At the time of recording this video, um, whatever is the latest, I mean on 31st of December 2023, I have picked up the latest software and installed it successfully. Okay, you can skip uh, these windows for now, and let me. 
click on okay we are saying we'll force quit and then you're good and now now uh, see um, you would have noticed one thing like uh, as in when we maximize this window right uh, the resolution is not uh, proper looks like i mean it is uh, it has got 800 and 600 you know x y uh, resolution basically and it doesn't fit to the screen right this particular so what we can do we can install we can install uh, you know a guest edition on ubuntu guest in case if it is not installed along with the iso so how to do that so we are going to run certain commands so we will update we'll run a sudo apt update and we will run this command sudo apt install build essential dkms okay so let us do that so i'll open the terminal and simply run sudo apt update okay and provide the password yeah so at times like when you see this error right username is not in the sudo or list what you can do do to fix this error you can simply uh, switch to a root user okay and run cert, uh, uh, same command so you have to provide the same password which you have given during the installation of this iso okay so now you can see the user has been switched to root okay now i will run the same command sudo apt update so it should update the repository okay so reading packages building dependency tree reading everything is done now time to run the second command sudo okay so you can run sudo apt install build essential dkms linux headers dollar new name minus a okay so i am supposed to you know click on i mean type y to, to install so what we are going to do next is basically we are we are installing guest edition on ubuntu okay so with that i mean the resolution of screen will be fit to the uh, this virtual box basically so so far i mean you are seeing 800 by 600 and with this with certain updates you should be able to you know see it uh, fit to the screen and all the latest uh, software and libraries whatever is there right will be updated basically so after this command is successful we have to go to device from the virtual box and uh, click on insert guest edition cd image okay so when you click the, that you should see that image here v box okay so now click here and if it is not running on its own so you have to you know go to the terminal and run the auto run.sh and provide the same password which you have given for this virtual machine okay ubuntu so just remember the password you have entered it takes some time so let us see the progress yeah 
so now you can click on enter and you're done okay so now as in when um, you may maximize or just go to this particular you know window you should see the screen resolution is fit to the windows virtual box okay so this is what is going to happen when you install the guest uh, software okay so when you install this guest edition cd image okay and run this auto run so it will fit to the screen now now uh, uh, you are you are done with uh, the installation of uh, ubuntu right on the windows 11 okay uh, with the help of virtual uh, box oracle virtual box now on top of that on top of that if you want to you know install a couple of other software right you can uh, use this app uh, library okay and like for example if you want to you know install uh, open jdk right you can run this command and uh, you will be all fine okay so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and uh, learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends also don't forget to you know share the feedback in comment section and i will see you in next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching